this afternoon. It is an honor, an absolute honor to be with you. Your time is valuable, uh, your attention is valuable, and uh, I have the privilege of hopefully keeping both over the next hour of your life, and we're going to have a lot of fun over the next couple of minutes. My task is to get you ready, get the blood flowing, and so everybody stand up and either do 20 push-ups. I'm joking, but she's ready to go. She's like, cardio, I missed my workout this morning. Yes. No, we're going to have some fun. My job is to get your blood flowing, get you ready, get your minds ready so that you can maximize this conference, so that you can make the most of it. Raise your hand if you are ready to get some value out of this conference. You want some new ideas? You want to meet some new people? Absolutely. Well, we got to make sure that we are just as prepared as audience members as hopefully the speakers and trainers are in helping you today. So let's get started. You need to turn to the inside of your table. I'd like you to put one hand out to the side of you just like this, the other hand out to the side of you just like this, and just hold them very still. You need to be facing the middle of your table. Put one hand out to your side, the other hand out to your side just like that. You're going to hover those two hands next to the two hands of the people beside you. This is called a team round of applause. You're going to begin clapping when I count to three with the two people beside you. Yes. So hold just a second. This table is practicing. They're like, we've never done this before. They're practicing. Wait just a second. We've got to get you ready. These guys are the overachievers of the group. I like that. Security to table 20, please. Security to table 20. Hold it right there. I'm going to count to three. You're going to clap with the two people next to you until I count to ten. Turn to the two people beside you and say, I'm so sorry about this. Someone will get slapped in the next 12 seconds. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight, nine, ten. Good job. Nice work. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Woo! Yes. Now you'll feel so bad about stopping at Burger King for lunch. All right. Here we go. Round two. Get them up. Round two. Get them up. Don't worry, there's only 12 rounds. Don't worry about it. I'm joking, Robert. There's not 12 rounds. All right, here we go. Round two. Just like round one, only this time, your eyes are closed. Close them. We're not going to start until everybody's eyes are closed. Some of you have some major trust issues. You're like, I'm not shutting my eyes. This person, this person will punch me in the ribs if I close my eyes. There's a 27% chance that may happen. That's a risk I'm willing to take. All right, here we go. Hands up, eyes closed the whole time. Ready, one. <laughs> That's it, so scared. Two, three, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nice work. Nice job. Woo! Now you're ready to go. Excellent. Was anyone injured during the last couple of minutes? Very good. All right. I'd like you to write down four words on that sheet of paper, please. Your partner's going to write down these four words as well. I'd like you to write down these four words. This is where we're going to be spending our mind and our hearts over the next hour of our lives. First word is influence. Second word is spirit. Third word is class. And the fourth word is legacy. Influence, spirit, class, and legacy. What I know about Johnson O'Malley is that you are very interested in the work that you do, either as a parent, an administrator, a school staff member. Uh, you're very interested in establishing and making sure that children and young people are up to certain education standards of excellence. If you would agree with that, raise your hand. That this program is about raising, helping raise students to a certain standard of excellence for education. Well, the four words that you just wrote down are what I call standards of leadership excellence. Standards of leadership excellence. I'd like you to write that down as well. What I'm going to be challenging you with over the next hour of our lives is I want to ask you to take a look at these four words and how prevalent are they in your personal life. How prevalent are they? These are standards of leadership excellence. Anyone who is a leader in a real big way and they are very effective at it are consumed with making sure that these four words are part of their life. And it's all for one purpose, really, and that one person or that one purpose is the word impact. 
Please write down the word impact as large as you can on that sheet of paper. The word impact. Ladies and gentlemen, you know this. I'm not telling you anything new, but you have a huge impact on the young people. If you would agree with me, say, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Say, oh yeah. oh, yeah. You have a huge impact. It is an honor for me to spend some time with you to help sharpen and shape and improve and shine and challenge that impact that you have. Right? Because one of my favorite quotes is, when you're green, you're growing. When you're right, you're wrong. I hope there's not a single person in this room that thinks that, that, thinks that you're right, particularly for your partner's sake. Uh, but I hope that you do not think that you are right. I hope that you are green so that you can grow. So if you're ready to grow, I'd like you to turn to your partner. I'd like you to begin your partnership uh, with just a short conversation. I'd like you to go through all of those four words and just get some initial reactions to them. You're going to take off with your partner. Uh, and you're going to be walking around the room. Here's what you're going to be talking to your partner about. You're going to talk to your partner, maybe even write down a little bit. What mood does this song put you in? You can also say what memories come to mind. Look at some of you are taking notes. You either know you have a very poor memory, or you just, maybe this will matter later. I have no idea. Maybe you can play this at your next family reunion. Who knows? Um, so you can talk about what mood it puts you in, you can talk about what memories come to mind. If you would like to move in a certain way to the song, I'm not saying that you should, but if, you, if the song moves you in a certain way, you feel free to move like that. If no one else moves as well, it's their fault, okay? So if you want to dance a little bit to the song, that's fine. If you know the song and want to sing it out loud, sing it out loud. If you cannot sing very well, do not sing it out loud. I'm totally joking. No judgments over the next couple of minutes. Just belt it out. Now here's the key thing, my friends. If you're with me still, say, uh-huh. Uh -huh. When I switch songs, you switch partners. Okay? When I, yeah, ooh, yeah. Well, I feel, uh, this is going good until that moment right there. I don't even like the people I came with to conference. Why would I want to go meet more people at conference that I may not like either? Yes, your task when I switch songs is to switch partners. If you find someone that looks very partnerless, meaning they do not have a human talking to them, please go up and be their friend, okay? <laughs> Let's don't start off with that drama. So it's a very simple activity. I start playing a song, you start walking with your partner, talking to them about what moves, what memories, how's it make you move, how's it make you sing. When I switch songs, you switch partners. We're going to continue until I give the magic words that indicate that the activity is over, and those words are, the activity is now over. <laughs> so be listening for that. Turn to your partner and say, let's do this. This first song will for sure, hopefully, bring a mood to mind. Don't forget to walk when the song begins. Song number one, take off with your partner. <laughs> You immediately had a reaction to them, a response, for good or for bad. And I picked the ones that obviously you would have immediate responses to. Just like those songs impacted you, at times like this, when we come to conferences like this, we have to stop and we have to step back and say, you know what? I'm exactly the same one. You have a theme song when you walk in to your school or your home or your place of business. You have a theme song that's playing. It was developed when you were young. It was hardened by the time you were six. And then after that, there were just little tweaks to it. There were any major life situations that happened to you that changed your theme song. Uh, but mainly our theme song has been set for a long, long time. And by theme song, of course, I mean the influence that you have on others even when you're not purposely doing something. Uh, you're, you know, when you walk in, the sense that people get when you're around, 